Lot Esmond here for Winners and Winers. You know, hit the bell, like us, subscribe, do all that stuff. Well, I'm trying to make you a better, better. Remember, premium picks, premium picks, premium picks. That is where all of the handicappers put our best stuff. And by the way, speaking of best stuff, <coughs> Loud Esmond, top of the board, baby! Five and one in the NFL playoffs last week. Picking against the spread. No overs and unders. None of that other BS. No money line stuff with easy favorites. No, no. I crushed it going against the spread. Five up, one down. If you listened to me last week, you made some money because I put up all my picks in the premium picks. And you have an opportunity this week to get all four of my picks for one low, low price. So watch out for that. Check your email from Winners and Winers and go and look for me and my special deal for all four of my premium NFL picks this week. All right. Some things that I thought made for interesting reading and mulling over when it comes to the playoffs. Uh, 74% of the teams with a first round buy win their following game. 74%. So the Chiefs and the Eagles really should be good, good bets this week, obviously, to win. Then you got to factor in the spread. Well, this is kind of fascinating. <clears throat> In divisional games, when you look at the point spread, and this research um, comes comes from Sports Stats on Tap, T A P P, uh, the divisional game victory margin eight points or less, fifty percent of the time. Nine to nineteen points, which I really don't like, as the spread that they chose, I would have liked to see like 9 to 13, 9 to 14, 14 to 19, but they didn't break it down that way. 9 to 19, 32.5%, 20 points or more. Surprisingly, 17.5% of divisional games end up at 20 points or more. Now, this one jumped out at me. The number of team, the, the average margin of win. In the divisional round, 11.6 points. That's a lot. When you think you've got quality teams playing each other, the point spread should come down. But no, apparently a lot of these games in the divisional round are blowouts. Now, uh, when playing the point spread, it's also essential to note that the average winning percentage by points goes up slightly for home teams. Uh, they win in the playoffs by average of 4.6 points, while home teams win on average by 2.5 points during the regular season. So, again, those over-under numbers look juicy, and, and a 8- or 9-point spread looks juicy until you realize, wow, um, a lot of these games actually end up being 10, 11 more than that. Um, it's, it's actually a very high number, so kind of shocking. So those are just some numbers you want to think about. Uh, a couple of player things to look at. Uh, Patrick Mahomes has 113 and a half passer rating when he's blitzed. The Jaguars like to blitz. Uh, that could be a problem in that Jaguars-Kansas City game. I think that's, that's – um, that's probably going to be the least entertaining game of, of the weekend, in, in, in my opinion. Um, Gabriel Davis uh, is uh, tearing it up in, in the playoffs. In his last three postseason games, he has erupted for 355 receiving yards. So it's not just Stefan Diggs. You have other capable wide receivers, including Gabe Davis, which is why – uh, the Bills' passing attack should work, and also Josh Allen with his legs, I think he's going to do well. Another guy who, uh, this is the story of the year 
in the NFL if this keeps going. Mr. Irrelevant himself, Brock Purdy. You know, the 49ers are averaging 34.8 points a game since he became the starter. That would make them the highest scoring offense in the NFL if he held that over the entire season because the Chiefs currently hold that position. They're only scoring a measly 29.2 points a game. He's five points better than Patrick Mahomes. Let that sink in. He's five points better than Patrick Mahomes. Uh, that stat is just crazy to me. Daniel Jones looks great in the win against the Vikings. 305 passing yards, accurate, used his legs, I think five or six or seven first downs. He could be in trouble against the Eagles. Uh, the Eagles put together one of the best defenses in the NFL in 2022. They nearly made history in the process. They became just the fourth team in NFL history to record 70-plus sacks in a season. Now, they had an extra game, so there's that. 70 wow. Wow. Um, that's a lot. Uh, Hassan Reddick had 16 sacks. Javon Hargrave had 11. Brandon Graham had 11. Josh Sweat had 11. And then the rest are spread out amongst the team. Kind of crazy. Uh, Joe Burrow, by the way, is going to keep the Bengals in that game against the Bills. He leads all starting quarterbacks in fourth quarter passer rating at 115.3. He's also one of the most effective passers in the final 15 minutes, completing 70.2% of his 131 pass attempts with 11 touchdown passes and an 8.4% touchdown rate in the fourth quarter. Uh, Joe Cool, yes. Joe Clutch, also. All right. I'm Loud Elderman for Winners and Winers with some great information to take you into betting the divisional round this weekend in the NFL. And here I am, just your humble sporting prognosticator, trying to make you a better, better.